You're an incredible singer. Is there anything, I mean, you don't have to, but is there <laughs> anything you would want to sing? Since you've been away, don't you know I sit around with my head hanging down and I wonder who's loving you? The first thing I look for when I read a script is, is this character empowering? I'm really interested in playing strong, powerful characters who feel things. I think the limited, thoughtless portrayal of what it looks like to be a black woman is this idea that like we are just the support systems on a white character's journey. I want to show little black girls that being black doesn't look like one thing. That was a huge lesson that I learned on Riverdale working with Ashley and Haley, who were the two other pussycats. I think I can speak for all of us. It's like when we first got in there, we all wanted to be like the standout girl. I think something that we slowly learned as we developed a sisterhood was that as black women, we are so different. I think for a really long time, I would like hear about an audition and I'd be like, well, why didn't I go up for that? Like they're looking for a black girl. Like I should have been in the room for that. But what I didn't realize at that time was I was limiting my idea of what it even means to be a black woman as if we are all the same. It was a really freeing process to realize like, no, that's not actually how I operate in my life. Even though on paper I had perfected this idea of like booking the black best friend, I knew how to do that. I realized that I really was limiting myself as a performer. I kind of just grew tired of being the sassy best friend. <laughs> Obviously being a black actress in the industry has had its challenges, especially because I started so young at 15. This idea of d diversity wasn't always at the forefront of everyone's minds. It's like when you go onto a set, you automatically know it's going to be a fight. Maybe you're not like a number one or number two on the call sheet, so you know that makeup isn't going to be centered around you. I once did a show, I remember distinctly having a moment where I was like, I need to speak up for myself. She was trying to put certain colors on me that just didn't match my skin tone. They didn't have the colors for me. And when I did say something, it blew up, it became a whole situation where she was really insulted and then she got the director involved and then it kind of came down to like, oh, Asha's being the difficult black girl. I think what was so frustrating for me in that moment was trying to explain that it's so much more than makeup. And I think it just leads us to like a broader conversation about inclusion and diversity. And I remember reading a quote once by Nia Long that stuck with me and she said, when I walk into these rooms, I don't want to be tolerated, I want to be celebrated. My name is Asha Bromfield and this is my brief but spectacular take on turning your authenticity into power.